are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. Who controls the past, controls the future. Who controls the present, controls the past. Right here. Oh, uh, right there. Hey, welcome to Conspiracy Dummy, the conspiracy podcast where all clocks are striking 13. I am your host, Unperson Double D. Joining me on the podcast, we have Big Brother. What's good, homie? What's up, y'all? What's good? AKA Mario. <laughs> Keeping my eye on y'all, all of y'all. Yeah, what's up, man? Shit, we're right here, we watch Big Brother, not Big Brother watching us. Um, how's it going, bro? How's everything? Oh, f- fantastic. Keeping. Far away from the government. Yeah, yeah, as best as we can, bro. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, today, man, we're going to be talking about 1984, bro. George Orwell's book, which was written in 1949. Um, have you read that book before, man? No. No? Nah? No. 1984? 1984. No. No? Nah? Shit, it's a classic, bro. Dystopian. It's like a dystopian novel and shit. Well, really, I feel like you just got to live in today's society and... Pers- that's that's good enough. We're getting a little taste of it and shit. Yeah, like bit. that's <laughs> the book. So <laughs> maybe a lot more than that, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you don't really need to read the book. You could just live in today's society, and it's pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I, or I, close to it. I read it like way back, bro. When I was in college, I was um I'm a fan of David Bowie, and David Bowie yeah, has yeah. his album. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Hell yeah, but he has an album called The uh, Diamond Dogs. And like I think like that whole album is based off 1984. There's a song in it called 1984. Um, so I was like I was just like tripping out because that's one of my favorite albums of David Bowie's, right? And you don't remember that song? Yeah, oh yeah, I know the songs, but um, I just like I was like just curious, like what is this guy talking about, you know, in these songs? So I looked into it, read the book when I was in college, and then I saw the movie um, that was released in 1984. You know what I mean? Have you seen that one? Uh, I saw parts of it. Yeah, it's a good I one, I remember man. some parts. So you're familiar with the whole concept of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think a lot of people are. Rob um, you of, like, free thought and human emotion, no? Isn't that the, oh, basically yeah. the whole thing? Hell, yeah, man. That's where we get the thoughts, like, uh, words like double think, thought police, thought crime, new speak. Um, yeah, man. So new it's, it's speak. New That's speak, a funny yeah. one, huh? Yeah, it's just like... Uh, new speak yeah it's just like the corruption of words you know what i mean for real um how, how do you how do you say in the book it's a beautiful way it's a beautiful thing the destruction of words you know um how things are getting misinterpreted or uh like in the book like how that guy winston he works in some department where he changes history you know what i mean like alters history alters like a um the way people once thought, you know what I mean? So like every, every, it, like it's basically today too. If you look at today as society, how everything that was once up is now down, you know, there's um, a big shift in it. So it's kind of tripped out like the similarities and we're going to be getting into a lot of this, I guess these comparisons today, you know, with the book and today's r- real life and shit. Um, yeah, man. You say cheers. You have your drink. I do. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, man. So, 
So what are you familiar with it? Like, what do you want to, how do we start this? How should we go get into? It's a lot to cover. That's why. <laughs> yeah, but it, I guess it starts uh, from childhood, no? Yeah, Like, man. that's when they first grab a hold of you? Yeah, man. Because it, it's funny how it's like uh, they'll throw you, the parents in jail, no? If you don't send your kid to public school, no? Yeah, that. I w- don't really know, but. It's I, just like, yeah, the kids are indoctrinated at a young age. Yeah, go hit that, hit that shit. Or like. Um, well, yeah, because one of the things in 1984 is that if you grow up in the system that you you don't remember the past so much you know yeah I mean? and then but you're like a perfect robot yeah for yeah. the system and you're already corrupted so yeah, like yeah. the kids in 1984 were like already the perfect uh um, a soldier or whatever you citizens call yeah, yeah 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 they're and already the, the perfect mindless citizens and the people of the past had like a even the daughter were, turns yeah. on the dad no wasn't that um his friend, was the main character's name is Winston. Winston. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of his friends, his own daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. turns on the dad just because like he t- talks yeah. in his sleep. Yeah, yeah, That's dude. crazy. Yeah. yeah, man. So, shit, like, dude, like, they're like little spies and shit, double yeah, agents, you know bad. what I mean? And that's why today, too, in today's society, bro, you got, like, kids just wilding the fuck out, bro. You know what I mean? Like, they are turning against their parents. Man, you see kids fucking beating up teachers in school for taking away their cell phones I've and seen shit. Those. You know what I mean? That shit's crazy. If I was a teacher, I would I'd be like, try me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but but yeah, I, the most of the videos I see, it's like some poor old lady, like and some yeah, and man. some big kid, just like, bam, like what? And that's, then that's the thing, man. That starts with parroting, bro. But if you got fucking kids, wild, but like, how do you shit? just like hit a, like, okay, how are you like some two hundred pound male, and you're just gonna like punch, like, let's say fifteen. And you're already 200 pounds, and you're just gonna hit like some 45 year old, like poor cafeteria frail. lady or yeah, teacher like, or something. Like, yeah. damn, bro. That's yeah, not that's even, fucked up. Like man. in a UFC fight, they're both 200 pounds, and they're two, like the same age. They the gotta same, like, start te- training these teachers, bro. Like, some jujitsu or some up. kickboxing yeah, or something. Up. Yeah, man, for reals. Um, yeah, man. So there's a lot of that shit, a lot of corruption. And people, you know, I mean, today, bro, I think that's the whole agenda. I think people are trying to, like, change uh the ways of living of the past you know what i mean and then that's why like our we're not gonna have any connection to our grandparents and we're not gonna have any connection to our grandchildren everything's gonna be different you know what i mean and that's the perfect way to rule like you know the few to rule over many you know what i mean um it's very corrupted bro we can see that it's, you've seen that throughout history you know what i mean um are you familiar with the character of Winston in the book? A little bit, yeah. Like I, like I said, I've seen parts, and I remember, you know, they make you watch, like, messages and, and their ideas. All the propaganda yeah, and shit. Yeah, all that propaganda crap. Yeah, man. And they're just right there watching Big Brother, and they're being, like, fed all this fucking But what bullshit, does that word yeah. really mean, propaganda? Is that That's, like, anything negative, no? Like, any kind of kinda negativity? Like, yeah, and every anything like they kind of want to like, um, basically influence you in some way. Like you know what I mean? They're putting something out for like a, to get you a, a reaction from you. You know what I mean? And but that's why you see everybody like just like crossing their hands and they're cursing at this one guy. You know what I mean? Goldstein or whatever his fucking name is, and um, people don't even know who he is. If he even if he's real, and because he wrote this book but it's uh, like called a, The Brotherhood, you know what I mean? It's like brainwashing, no? Well, yeah. Well, they're brainwashed, and I guess they got to show that they're brainwashed. But that book, that guy Goldstein, it's called the book. That's all it. It's like a a book within a book, some Inception shit, right? Talking about the truth, right? Yeah, about the truth <clears throat> and the and the Brotherhood and all that shit. You know what I mean? So it's like this fucking. Isn't uh, it funny? But that's like real life. Mm-hmm, There's okay. a lot of people that are just going along with rebels, bro. The, what everyone thing, whatever. Whatever society says, people just follow, and then there's the few that, yeah, yeah, that can't take that shit. Rebel, rebel, bro. Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, that's like a so this thing, man. It's like centers a totalitarian regime governing a dystopian society, bro, and that uses surveillance, brainwashing, like you said, mind control, to uh, repress the people of Oceania, right? It's like the, um. I don't know, man. It's like parts of the world, big part of the world, and they're going yeah, against well, East Asia. Yeah, well, I remember it's like fuck, three, yeah. three different, three ruling classes yeah, that were yeah, yeah. fighting amongst each other yeah. for power. 
And then who do you mean? But they yeah. knew it was sort of like a game. Yeah. So they were just using us like cattle yeah, to yeah. play a giant game. For sure, for with sure. each other. And um, almost and it, like I, okay, watch, check this out. I had a crazy thought in my head. If you were so rich and powerful, like like say me and you were the rich, most uh, richest, most powerful people on earth. I'll be richer though. Okay, yeah, like say you're a dollar richer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, but for real, yeah, like, yeah. let's say we're like, you know what, we're fucking bored. Let's play a fucking chess game. Yeah. But with like America and Russia. Yeah. Like, but for real, like just for shits and giggles, like that's what these fuckers do. They do, man. They play, che they play chess, not checkers, bro. For real. But that's. It's long cons. Like, I'm sure all these wars that we had, like Vietnam War, uh, World War One, World War Two, was just like. For shits and giggles or for the elite yeah man for sure yeah and then that and then it's like these the elite like you said that um like in the book bro they're like you know like everything is so fucking ass backwards like war is peace freedom is slavery ignorance is strength and they're trying to get you to believe like two plus two equals five you know what i mean it's like fuck reality or that the clock struck 13 yeah yeah exactly but and that's bitch. them it's not like fuck fuck reality Listen to me. Listen to what I tell you is true. You know what I mean? So it's kind of fucked up. And you see that today, bro, with society, bro. Like, how they trying to cancel motherfuckers. You know what I mean? There's no debates. Like, you and I, when we went to school, bro. Fucking, there was, like, speech and debate. You know what I mean? It was really big, right? Mm. When the fuck do they ever do that now? I, I hear next year during the presidential That's fucking right. uh, debates that Biden doesn't want to debate. I don't even know. I, I can't even shit be. I don't know, man. I, that's never been done in history. Well, I, think, I, I don't blame the guy. He's not too good thinking on his yeah, feet. Yeah, that's true, man. Uh, I would run from a debate <laughs> <laughs> if I was him too. Yeah, man. So, but I don't know, man. It's just crazy. Like, how the fuck? I don't know. I, I, it's gonna be interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So I, I don't know, man. So that's. But no, 1984 shows also how. Like you said, the uh, the main guy, uh, or no, not the main guy, but the one that wrote the book, Goldstein, like speaking Emmanuel truth, Emmanuel Goldstein, yeah. Like it's funny, like because they even in the movie they even have like thought police, yeah. Like you're not allowed to have free thought. So I remember when the guy's talking about the ideas of the book, all the people are hating on him, yeah. And then, like, they're going crazy, cursing them yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and doing that X sign. Yeah, yeah. They're at DMX and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. X, X coming to you. So, like, gonna uh, give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, but what, tr what I've seen in my own life is, like, people, like, I've had my own uncles and aunts or on my own family say I'm crazy. Yeah, shit. Oh, or fifty one fifty, bro. Uh huh. Fifty one fifty. What's that? I think like like you get like a fifty one fifty. You belong in the psych ward or some shit. Like so, that kind, of thing? kind of, dude. Yeah. I've had no, nothing like just by simple stuff, uh, like just by saying like Donald Trump and the rest of the presidents, they're all friends. Yeah, and That's but they're they're saying. all liars and stuff. All and, same, uh, different sides, of, and, different sides of the same coin. And I've had my dad even tell me one time like you trump lover get out of my house and i was like dad what's wrong with you i was like chill bro Shit, i was man. like uh, we're just talking like why are you getting so worked up and it's a trip that how they're fucking going after him bro huh like never in history have they really gone this hard for our president to get fucking locked up or whatever the fuck you know what i mean it just makes you show like it makes you question or at least me question like What's going on? You know what I mean? Well, I always They're feel, all fucking crooks. I always feel like anything you see with politics is all part of the script. It's like a movie. Yeah. Like sometimes when you're in the movies and you're like, how did that happen? Or you ask yourself a question. Well, it's like, well, someone wrote that in there for a reason. Like it's yeah. in the script. So like I feel like they're hating on Donald Trump for a reason. But <sighs> yeah. like they're all the same to me. Like I don't trust one politician after the next, even the I think my the local whatever tax collector. I don't even trust like, those people. But I like um, Robert Kennedy Jr., bro. I, I got I got a good feeling about that guy. I don't I mean, know. I think he's pretty going hard against big pharma, big against vaccines right now. In you know, nineteen eighty four, yeah. when you try to voice these ideas of like positivity positivity or individualism yeah don't they do something to you they throw you in room 101 
But do they Trying kill? Do they assassinate people and stuff like that too, or on Probably the movie? Th- they tortured the motherfuckers. I, maybe but I think do it's they, been a while. I do can't they remember. just torture them, or do they? They torture them. They send them to some room, and they they bring out your like fucking your deepest phobia and shit. Which in that movie, his was a, a rat because it's something about him and as a kid. You know, he saw rats on his mom or somebody like that, and so he was always afraid of rats. But me, bro, now I think about it, I think it's symbolic, bro. It's symbolic why he was afraid of rats in that when he was talking about it being interrogated or whatever the well, fuck. Well, no, it's a he bigger thing. Cage. It's a well, bigger. Well, hold on. What I was going to say, what does a rat represent in today's society with, with, when, with people, I guess? Well, like the lowest form of person, no, I guess. Well, like, but what, 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 when you think of a dirty snitch. Dirty or snitch. Yeah, or like dirty, a rat, right? Filthy rat. And if you think. dirty, filthy rat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how it but goes? But in the movie, he rats out that girl. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't want to, like, he can't endure that pain or that uh, psych, Wait, that I thought torture they were, or whatever. I thought they were following him since forever. Yeah, but at the end, he just turns on that girl, and he wants, like, he tells them to do it to her instead. Oh. So, like, he basically kind of, like, ratted her right, out. You know what right. I mean? They both rat each other out, Kind of. They? I think so, man. I think it's different in the book. I think that chick gets up getting pregnant by the guards or something like that. But um, I don't know. But it's crazy, man. Um, you would think that... The way they were making the people live in the movie all shitty, um, no good food, no real way of living. Like they have shitty apartments. Yeah, like they had to hide everything, bro. Like, I don't. I I hope that Americans are so greedy that that never happens to us. Like we don't let them stuff us in boxes. Well, that, that, shit. Dude, look, you heard about the fifteen minute cities and shit? They're trying to already do that. They're trying to keep us in this little fucking box, bro. This little bubble and shit. Well, no, I understand. Like they want us in these cities, but like I mean, like where they don't start putting us in. Like, uh, remember in Fifth Element? Yeah. Like those little tiny apartments, then the bed oh, just slides shit. out and the refrigerator <laughs> slides out, and like you don't even have nothing. You just have like a little box. And yeah. everything just slides out. Uh, yeah. Like, that shit that's just sucks. Up, dude. Like, yeah, dude. I enjoy my Little house. Pods and shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, yeah, man. I think uh, I think we're heading that direction, bro, too. It's like, scary, They're bro. trying to, like, uh, look at the housing um, today, yeah. bro. Like, everything. They're trying to... What's that dude's name? Um, shit, what the fuck is his name? He talks like a fucking Bond villain. Uh, Bond villain? Yeah. Uh, Klaus oh. Schwab. Oh, man, that guy. A fucking W-E-F, bro. Like, if you think about Big Brother, that's probably Big Brother. You know what I mean? One of those Isn't dudes Isn't he like shit. a modern-day Hitler or some I shit? I don't know, man. He, he sounds Scary. like him. I don't know, yeah. He was talking about a great reset, no? Yeah, the great reset. And he's like, like you will own nothing and be happy. He said that? He said that, among other things. So, um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. And uh, how to prepare? Uh, it means to take the necessary action to create the fairer world. Doesn't that come out in the movie too, or doesn't that come out in the Orwell book? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a lot of good quotes in that. But book, he though. said that. Yeah, I think he did say yeah. that. Yeah. I don't usually hate people, but damn that dude. The best book, man. The best books are those that tell you what you know already. You know what I mean? Like, you have a good feeling about it. And you know where this fuck is coming from. Do you, you think Americans would let themselves? Um, like, do you think people in America would actually be happy owning nothing? Well, I think, like, they're so... St- I hate to say it, bro, but a lot of us are stupid. We're fighting about stupid shit. I think but it's designed to be like that. It's always been designed to be like that. Us fighting ourselves each other and not fighting, like, like the powers that be or people that are really repressing us. You know what I mean? That are... Um, yeah, I don't know a better way to say it, I guess, right now. But, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, shit. Um, sad. It is sad, bro. It's, uh, it's sad. Like, right now that you were talking about Room 101, I was going to say it all breaks down to fear. Yeah, that's all it is, man. That's all it is. Like Fear of the government. Well, like, Room 101, what's the whole point of Room 101? To bring that person's most deepest fear a reality. And don't just, and also just brainwash the fuck out of them to be like right but it's like what they're like preaching they already know that it takes their greatest fears to really fuck with their brain to get in their psyche so it's not really the rats because right now you're talking about the rats that's his fear yeah that's his fear but it breaks down to they use fear as control 
Yeah. And that's why, like, I know most people aren't built for fighting or war. And that's like the. We all don't want war, bro. The majority of people, you would ask them if they want war, they will say no. Well, yeah, but like some people won't even fight. Like, isn't that. This is. I think this is how it works, if I remember right. The. I think even one of our presidents, I think I have it, that fear is the foundation of any government. Yeah. Our own president said that. Yeah. Uh, John Adams, I think. I'm not too sure. And then, uh, but so they they make believe these uh, wars. Like I heard once from somebody that the word terrorist is a made up word. And it's just so that way they can keep fear and then in in all the civilians and then plus they the it's funny how the government always has a solution for everything no yeah like even even going back what three years ago covid yeah like isn't it funny how right away the government was like oh okay uh you guys should all be scared for your lives but we will we'll take care of this and they contradict each other yeah and all that bullshit <laughs> yeah and, the then, science and then and look at years later all these lies are coming out yeah. all this like all oh, the truth oh, is coming yeah, out. yeah so it's like fuck man oh, and, yeah. and, and i'm really happy with myself because back then i knew it was all bullshit Oh yeah, man. I would go around the U.S. traveling, and I would talk to different people, and so many people would tell me it's all lies. Like there's not even people in the hospitals, um, you know. It's all because of the internet, too, man. Yeah, we have, you know, we got like, like how hard, right how there. hard is it to set up some kind of a camp with fake actors all pretending to be sick, and then show it, show it like it's two different. Like, hey, look at Arkansas. Oh, look at California. Yeah. Like, you know, that's what they said, too, that uh, a lot of the footage from China or Japan that yeah. were, they were showing in America, yeah. that it wasn't even real footage. A lot of that's, like, bots and a because, bunch of fake things. Yeah, well, no, but, like, I remember us, yeah. when COVID first hit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was China, Japan, or whatever Asian country. Yeah, they're showing people falling down in the well, streets no, or but, like, like they that. were showing... No, like actual police, military welding people. What? Yeah, into their homes. Oh, okay. I'm like shit. welding them in, like quarantining everybody in their homes. Like even going as far as like welding bars so they can't get out. Dude, who knows what they really did when well, they no, showed up? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know. That seems, it seems like right away you would fight. Like, like, there's so many young men out there, especially, like, living, like, okay, remember when you were younger, it was, like, all you and your brothers, all young, healthy? Yeah. Like, imagine someone's tried locking you in your homes like that. Wouldn't you and your brothers fight? Or, like, if you saw the neighborhood, all the men coming together, fighting against the, and then, plus, it's fucked up that the military would even do that to normal people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, man. you would think they'd have some kind of moral issue, like, just locking, welding people into their homes or... You know, who stop knows the spread like, Stop the spread You know what I mean yeah, like all that I, I yeah. don't know I don't know man um, Fucking crazy But yeah I, I but, know Because a lot of that stuff too Is because of the internet You know what I mean We're exposed to stuff like that We Thank God for it You know what I mean But who knows If it's working for us Or against us You know what I mean um, There's a pros and cons with it Like that, dude There's no need for a big brother Right We voluntarily gave our personal information out ourselves on social media all these apps and shit you know what i mean um yeah i don't have none of that good I'm, for you man good for you you're, you're off the grid <laughs> I, I try to be yeah but um you know like dude like from what we hear about like from what we heard yeah like let why let them know your next move yeah well that's what i'm saying you got the nsa the cia FBI, I don't know what other agencies hearing us and shit. You got Siri in your fucking room hearing you, you know what I mean? Recording oh, everything yeah. you said. Say, um, so yeah, man, it's just, and we carry that shit on us everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know, bro. It's just, it's different, man. It's just. Yeah, I wish things could be back like in the old times where I didn't need to carry a phone everywhere. I don't know why. It was, like, easier making, like, smoke singles and shit. Well, like, I don't know why everybody wants everything so goddamn convenient and easy in their life. 
Like, I wish we didn't need telephones the way... We, oh, that's like, <laughs> some people don't even know how to get around their own city without using GPS. What's that? That's that guy, Ted um, Kaczynski, bro. That fucker went out into the woods and shit. Speaking oh, of Ted yeah. Kaczynski, Isn't that fucker... is that the Unabomber? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he just... I think he committed suicide. So maybe he was suicided. Who knows? But, like, a week ago and shit. Was like he recently, in prison He still? was in prison, yeah. Uh, they found him dead, yeah. And um, he was cool, like, wow. yeah, dude, he was the guy who did the the manifest. He had a manifesto, Industrial Society and Its Future. And it was like a doom and gloom kind of scenario for him, dude. And he, he saw some shit, bro. Well, isn't it? AI is pretty scary. Dude. Look I hate it's, technology, bro. I can't stand it's technology. It's fucking crazy, All your crazy, equipment huh? here is freaking me the fuck out, too. <laughs> I want to fucking... All the lights and little bells and whistles. <laughs> fucking shit. Fucking roadcaster. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, nah, it's because I... I, I Think similar as far not as bombing people but technology i feel like that's our achilles heel like i feel like that's what's fucking it's gonna us be the downfall up. of humanity bro i feel like technology is really fucking robots gonna take over and shit like you know that well, story about uh, the robots like there's like was it four robots or some shit and uh they, oh, like, they yeah, turned the, off three of them or something it was like in that? a chinese or japanese factory four robots with ai went crazy killing people and then so they destroyed the first two and then they they unplugged or they disconnected the power source of the third one and then the fourth one before they unplugged it or destroyed it was starting to download information information <laughs> on how to repair <laughs> itself and build itself back to new better and better huh yeah. fucking got a mind of its own and shit bro that's crazy and they crazy. killed oh, they killed like 20 something people like 28 people oh for real yeah in the factory like how like i robot well, while they were like, yeah well they them apart? Uh, yeah cuz they came alive and they had ai so they just started killing people and so they were trying they killed the first two robots I don't know how. Like I, I didn't see more into the story. But Pulled the plug? Uh, no, in the first, the last two, they kind of like disconnected them or some weird shit. Uh, but the they, first did, two, they had to like destroy. But in total, I think it was like twenty seven or twenty eight people that died. What? How did the? How did they eventually kill the last robot or AI? I think they disconnected it while it was downloading information to repair itself and rebuild itself. What the fuck? That sounds like a cool movie, bro. There probably is a good scene. Uh, was I Robot? There's, some there's shit, already man. movies. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, it's because AI has been a scary thing for a long time. That's why I don't know why people are so happy with it. But no, I don't think so, bro. I think it's leading to like, I think it's leading to depression, bro. Mental well, illness here, and, and it's already fucking with people. Weren't somebody protesting uh, because AI stole their jobs already? Uh, lawyers. Oh yeah, like the writers, it, uh, animators, writers, all of them, anim bro. It's gonna take everyone's yeah, job. Yeah, so bro. like, yeah, if, that's the whole thing of iRobot. Remember, Will Smith talks shit to the CEO yeah. of the robot factory. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, I got a perfect commercial for you. You could see a person build a chair, all beautiful, out of wood, and then you could see one of your robots come in and do it better, faster in two minutes. Damn, and bro. then you can superimpose shitting on the little guy." crazy so i wonder if fucking uh george orwell's like saw that like where that was going I yeah don't, i don't, I know, don't even think he saw that far into technology well, look, i don't know did in the book i don't know but in the movie how they have the screen looking at you you know what i mean like that's pretty much like what we're talking about right now they can actually see right here what well exactly think we're about doing, it bro everything that's we're doing that's facebook isn't it face all of them bro because look it. at in the movie i know what you're talking about the dude has a screen in his, in his apartment so no, he, they're boning and shit and behind the painting no the, no but oh. like um any oh yeah in his little prison cell yeah, yeah yeah anytime he's in his apartment or anytime he's like they have screens yeah but like we carry a screen oh yeah like we don't they don't they already figured out that's what i'm saying we do it to ourselves yeah, yeah so they don't. <laughs> like they're fucking smart they went wireless like they knew Having a TV in your home wasn't good enough. Yeah. Bro. They were like, we need to get a wireless TV into everybody's hands so we could feed them propaganda 24 7. That's, That's why I don't yeah. fuck with Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, none of that shit, bro. I don't fuck with technology, social media. I stick to myself and make my paper. 
Yeah, man. Like, because everybody I, wants I, to be famous. I, I everybody, wanna, everybody wants to go viral and shit. You know. No, what and mean? then I'm even so scared to get successful. Like they might just come and take it from me. Like I don't need. I feel like I need to stay under the radar or something. Like I'm. You're party like a rock star. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I get scared. Like I really need to tiptoe. Tread, life, tread lightly, bro. bro. We I, all do, bro. I be swear. humble. Sit down. Be humble. Scary how. Yeah, man. Like, who did they take out? Um, what the Clintons? You're well, no, about? but uh, people for just speaking about ideas of truth like that, like the individual being positive, uh, you know, not living in a prison, uh, uh, in imaginary prison cell. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, shit. Fuck. Uh, I don't know. Well, like whistleblowers, basically. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're coming out left yeah, and right, like, bro. They're, yeah, they're dropping like, from that's, the sky. That's basically. There was some famous whistleblowers though uh, that they took out. Oh, one of them was like some CEO of some uh, Asian company that was in the. There's a lot, dude. Like, mm. oh, recently too, like this. Uh, what do you call? Let me see, bro. I th- yeah, because that uh, that Charles. Or what's his name? Carl's Claus Schwab. Claus. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Say that three times. You know, yeah. it's funny. Uh, I always liked the nightmare before Christmas. How he says Santa Claus, <laughs> like because you never when you say, "Oh yeah, Santa Claus is coming to town," you never think of nothing evil. But then, like when he says, he's like Santa Claus. <laughs> like if he has claws, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, like oh. that dude's. I could tell he's like evil villain. Uh, that dude reminds me of like an evil Bond character. Oh yeah, for sure. That's what bro. you said, right? Yeah. Well, the, oh, okay. Shop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah that, that dude's dude. scary. Yeah, this guy, bro. I was just looking this up too, real quick. The <sighs> the chief accountant of at Ukraine's Burisma Energy, who offered to provide U.S. authorities with damning evidence regarding financial crimes involving Joe and Hunter Biden, has been found dead before she could testify. So the Burmissa, Burm- I can't say the fucking name, Burissa, Burisma, yeah, the Burisma whistleblower who has been identified as the wife of the former Burisma owner, Mikola Lislin. Mikola also died in suspicious circumstances during the years of Obama's administration when Vice President Joe <laughs> Biden and his son, his son Hunter were active in your, Ukraine. So... Um, yeah, and it's funny how they try to play all this off as coincidences and shit. Dude, m- motherfuckers are getting capped left and right, bro. Also, I just read this thing to this article. Well, the, one of the George Orwell's uh, quotes is, political language is designed to make lies sound truthful and murder respectable and to give an appearance of solidity, solid, solidity <laughs> to Sol- pure win. Yeah. Solidity. Solidity. Yeah. Yeah. To pure win. And also, man, look, this chick, uh, Nancy Schaefer, bro. I don't know. Just look into it. Some crazy what? shit. Nancy, Nancy Schaefer. Schaefer? She died like a, like a decade ago or something like that. But what, just some crazy, you, uh, like some weird who circumstances. Who was she tied to? Her and her husband. Oh, she was tied to like this um, child protective services. Um, let me see. Also, a, Plato had a really good quote. As long as we remain ignorant of the fact that all too often those who claim to protect us from fear are actually manipulating our fears for their own benefit then we will be contributing to the misfortune of the world yeah ignorance is the root of misfortune yep. like that's one thing i always told my nephew too i was like dude learn try learning more and he's so hooked on watching short videos on YouTube. Shorts, reels, all that fucking Yeah, people are, like I'm saying, th- I thank God I don't watch short videos because it fucks with your brain. That's that's why they do it. They, they already. It's like, you know what? It's like some MK Ultra shit. You Bro, know what I mean? Like you get you those know, little glimpses of something. Did you know that? That's uh, going to be later. That they did studies on Facebook. Yeah. To where they got Facebook to where it's the same as doing cocaine. Like the. Like the dopamine levels? Or yeah. Like, I'm sure. Like, everybody hitting those likes and shit. You know what I mean? It's, I bet you it feels just the same as uh, well, they, that, hitting some rails. They, no? they, if you hook someone up to, what is it, a CT scan or where you could read the brain functions, mm-hmm. cocaine and Facebook and all these social platforms or Instagram, yeah. I don't know what they're yeah, called yeah. technically, but 
it all hits that part of the brain of the dopamine center. Yeah, man. And especially at kids at a young age, too. And so like, the telephone that the kids are using is uh, equal to cocaine as far as the brain's concerned. That's what we're talking about. If you take that shit away from bro, they start fucking fiending and jonesing, bro. It's, it's crazy. It's, and that's, that's how they that's control how, and us. it's not their fault, bro. It's parenting. It comes down to parenting, bro. Well, no, isn't it the system? Well, it's a system. That's why I say you can't allow like this. Uh, what we were talking about, the hiatus or what is it? The Hitabus. Hit Hitabus, right? Yeah. Hitabus? Like habitat, but it's Hitabus because it's like the whole world. Yeah, habitus. 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 Yeah, the habitus. habitus. That's yeah, what we yeah, say, yeah, habitus. Yeah, habitus, yeah. Um, it's like all fucked up, and they're trying to get it more fucked up or whatever. Um, the social norm is just different, bro. You know what I mean? These kids are growing up different, and and that's not like I said. It's not really their fault. It's the parenting, Whoa. and but like the, there's a there's a gap, and there's probably always gonna be a gap, and it might be grow even greater. Oh, it is. If we don't like stand, yeah, because like we'll think about it, think about like we're one of the things I remember from the 1984, or one thing that the um, the ones in control are hoping for is that. People that remember the past die so that way the kids growing up in the system don't even know what the past was like. Mm. So that way they could rewrite the past and the future and everything. Just like who controls the past controls the future, who controls the present, present controls the, the past. past. Yeah. And because these dudes have been doing it since Egyptian times. It's oh, nothing yeah. new. It's nothing new to them. It's it's scary. Yeah. How we're all just like lambs to the slaughter. Well, that whole like, yeah, like the whole story is silence they, of the lambs. Like the whole story, I guess it's kind of like relatable to the book of Job, you know? Yeah. Um, the guy had everything was taken away, and uh, you know, he's trying to test his faith for God and stuff, but he's still questioning everything. Like, why, why? You know, like we're in that like we're in that state right now too. Like things well, are just happening to us. And yeah, because he well he wasn't a bad person. We're always we're not none of us are really. You he, know what I mean? But well, like we're, we're stuck some, in this. Well, yeah, some, some people are. But fucking, out of a many, bro, I don't know. Uh, I guess. Well, no, watch the proof is in the pudding. I'll show you. Watch. I was talking about this the other day. I'll, sh I'll prove to you how America's fucked up. Uh, yeah. I'm watch. Other, yeah. We're real going, simple. Real simple. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just look up suicide. In America, mm -hmm. just in two, I looked this up the other day because it, 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 it's amazing. What are we? June? What's the hell's today? I never know what day it is. I work so. It's growing. It's getting bigger, bro. It's June seventeenth. Yeah. yeah. So I looked this up a few days ago. Yeah. It said just in these months of two twenty twenty three. Yeah. Sixty seven suicides in America every. Day. Most of them are young men, bro. Too, it's sad. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. it, it's always men. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rare uh, that a girl really kills herself. Girls have a pretty good life in America. Yeah, but it's the men that have to grow up in the system and deal with it. But it's fucked up. That's like if girl. you look in Mexico, they don't commit suicide over there. Well, I think that's a long con too, bro. I think they what's going on is weakening men. So there won't be any revolutionaries in the future, bro. Well, it's because also like Mexicans hold on to their tradition like crazy. Yeah. So like and then here in America, it's it's the worst because we're a bunch we're a bunch of mixed races together. Yeah. And so we're we feel and then that's one way they divide us even more. But we need unity more than ever, bro. Yeah, but it's you gotta fight it's against that. It's because they breed hate in us. They do. They that's why that that's one thing that they don't talk about capitalism. That's one thing. Not that it brings out hate, but you, if you're willing to go the extra mile to get what you want, and you see somebody in need, you're like, fuck that person. I worked hard for it. I got. Why the fuck am I just gonna give it away to people like that? Yeah. Well, I know, man, and it's a and it's a fucked up system. It's all tied in together, and plus it breeds hate. And in Mexico, they don't. Nobody makes money, so there don't. There's no hate about money. There's no hate like, oh, you're better. Everybody's the same. Everyone's poor. But people are just getting like robbed, bro, left and right. Like the farmers, for example. Oh, no, that's you know true I mean? like, too. You know but like, what I mean is like, there's no suicide. Small businesses and shit. You know, there's what I mean? like. The, I forgot which one beat Mexico, but Mexico's like one of the countries with there's like absolutely no suicide. 
It's crazy because they don't, they, when you're a Mexican, you're brought up as a child to appreciate life every day. It's the struggles real, bro. And so I think in America, that's kind of like what they're taking out as human thought, human emotion, so that you're just like a, a robot in the well, cog. Well, it's like that saying, bro, weak times create weak men, hard times create hard men or whatever, strong men. Yeah. Yeah, and that's time. and I think that's what we're living in today, bro. Like, it, you know what I mean? It sucks, bro. Like, like you know, kids, young men, you know what I mean? They're like, they're confused, you know, about a lot of things in life, like, you know, sexual identity, uh you know the information they're getting and shit bro wasn't there a big TikTok riot somewhere in california for them trying to take uh they're trying to teach some crazy shit in schools bro or something no like but that. wasn't someone so trying to like take fucking stupid yeah like there was protest six years no? old yeah like yeah they're trying years, to teach yeah, six year olds about sex yeah bro come on bro like shit the fuck up it's because yeah, that's like when the system's going too far. It's because they really there's want they really want to get you from as young as they can. There's the people in the educational suckers. system, bro, like teachers, I don't know, principals, or somebody like that. I for, I heard, bro, that they're keeping stuff away from the parents. Like they give them nicknames, kids of these nicknames. They're talking about stuff with the kids, but not relaying it back to the parents and shit. You know what I mean? There's conflict of that already. I'm I'm hearing about that. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think th that should be like asked to the parent first if that's something that should be brought up in class or in counseling or whatever. I don't know, man. But I think just for them to just do that. Dude, think about it. When we were in high school, was it junior high, I think? They just taught us one fucking day, one class in health class about sex. It was just like one time, right? And it wasn't even about sex. It was just like about Protection, birth, birth really. and all that shit, I think. Yeah, man. But like... You know, at that at a young age, I guess at that age is probably okay. You know what I mean? High school. High, no, middle school. I think I was taught that shit. Oh yeah, middle school. We I had think. health class. Yeah, Miss Ortega. Huh? Yeah. So I, I think. Um, I remember that lady. Yeah, bro. I just think I think that's probably maybe an appropriate age. Maybe maybe even high school. I don't know because you're already having sex around that age, bro. Thirteen, fourteen, probably. You know, fifteen and shit. Yeah, well, that's when your hormones kick in. Yeah. You shit. start looking at the opposite sex different. Well, I don't know. So let's. Unless That's you're gay from before you're fucking ten, I don't know. But well, I don't think game. that I don't think that exists. No, I, I'm sure it does, bro. But like, you know what I mean? Because we, or maybe it's more rare than they're trying to make it. I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's just um, but I I don't I don't you know you see all those videos or pictures with fucking like grown men and fucking leather and fucking dominatrix outfits and shit whips and chains and shit like in a parade next to kids or like fucking i don't know some fucking event where any kids kind and of shit. sexual revealing outfits should never be around kids so it's, it's so weird dude, bro it's if people are wearing like leather outfits in any kind of sexual manner oh, that's wrong that's, they should get an ass kicking bro that's so For fucking real. inappropriate bro that's like ass fucking beat. yeah i think so too man that's like yeah, I don't know, man. Like that's, that's why up. that's why they don't let in minors at a nightclub mm -hmm. because girls are wearing like see-through dress with thongs or you know what I mean. Like you don't even let them get a tattoo uh, till they're like eighteen, yeah, bro. And like, then yeah, they like, want them like to cut off their genitals and shit like that. <laughs> of parents and shit taking yeah, them here, to doctors. Learn this for a year. Oh, you're confused. Yeah, man. Nah, no, shit, man. I'm. I don't know, man. I think well, that's, that's why, you know, one thing I'm really glad that happened in my life yeah. was that I was a rebel and I never went to school. I fucking hated school. And that I, I honestly, I credit my success to that a lot. Being young and saying, being fuck a, this <laughs> Being shit. a rebel? For reals, I swear to God, because now. Rebel, rebel. A rebel without a clue. Dude, now I'm like unstoppable. Or a cause. And I don't let nothing fuck with me and, and was like. I used to, I used to just be high all the time in school and think I was like just high and different. Yeah. But like I would see the other kids that didn't smoke, and I was like, like why don't these kids smoke? Like what the fuck? They're just going through all this experience like sober, like <laughs> how <the> ugly. <laughs> but like, like I don't know. But like, I think weed also was what kept me from being a fucking cog in the system, and just like following in line. Like how I said earlier, lambs to the slaughter. It was your, it was I, your red pill, bro. I never followed that, even from a young age. Like nobody taught me this shit, though. Yeah. Like nobody taught me to rebel. 
I just fucking hated everything. It was weird. Yeah, man. Um, Especially like my mom, she always tell me you're Catholic. You're Catholic. I'm like, hell no, I'm not. What the hell does that even mean, anyways? And you see what those guys do to little Ooh. kids. <laughs> no, oh kids. yeah, like, <laughs> like I don't know. I just no. And then there's even there's even a word for that in the Bible. The the devil's children is uh, that's what Jesus calls them. Uh, there's a, it says that in the Bible uh, G- at one point Jesus called these type of people uh, the devil's children were the the people that appear to be religious in public all the charlatans but behind closed doors they're the ones the that exact the opposite. ones that they they say they speak to God and all that yeah, yeah. but they're really just in for it the money or the or yeah like there's a word from children of the devil that's crazy man yeah, there's yeah. a lot of those there's the Joe Olsteins the the uh, bishop, I don't know. Uh, Kenneth man. Copeland. Yeah, he was one dude. of them that was tied into a lot of scandals. The yeah. Vatican, the Pope, well, the Pope, but like the uh, not, not the one I think now, but the one before Benedict. That, that, that was just a little think about ball, the huh? ones that there was no news, there was no like nowadays. Coverage, nowadays, yeah. people are everywhere with cameras. Yeah, so everything's being posted. So just like imagine when you couldn't post or you couldn't even like if you had to write a letter. Yeah, to get some information <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> like pigeon here, pigeon. like where the fuck? <laughs> how like that's why they got away with everything back in the day. But I think that's what's gonna be their downfall. Yeah. That they can't get away with murder for long. Yeah. But it sucks that people stay willfully blind, bro. Like the Epstein case, the Ghislaine case. Nobody wants to hear about that shit. But yet Johnny Depp and Amber Heard pooping in the bed <laughs> is like number one top news story. Yeah. It's like Kim Kardashian's what the ass. What fuck is wrong yeah. with everybody? Yeah, bro. I'm it's like, man, what the fuck? We, we fucked up. Like... I As a society, know. we're fucking. And that, yeah. we're fucking up. I don't think we. I totally wonder if that's up, why I'm so anti-social. Yeah, is because of how I feel. Everybody just goes along with the, you know, the less the rest of the lambs. Yeah, like I, I don't know. So no man, you're just on a hero's journey, I guess. I guess I was a big bad wolf, and now I'm a superhero. Yeah, Super Mario. But uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, man, there's just so many problems in the world and not enough solutions. I, I guess that's what we need to do, man. We need to focus or not dwell so much on problems and kind of seek more solutions. As, well, as it's because everybody just follows the crowd. Like, I remember one of, uh, I remember that in the movie 1984. Yeah. At one point, everybody's like shouting curses at that person that wrote the book. Yeah. And then... That guy Winston yeah, yeah. is looking around at everybody and he doesn't look mad and he's just looking at everybody screaming and then he starts screaming too. He sees that girl Julia like yeah, getting then, all into it, so getting yeah, all wet. So and then shit. he gets into it. Yeah. So it's like we're just like copycats. Like if we like almost like we go along with the crowd, like if whatever's if, trending is yeah, cool and shit. And you know? so that's why I'm glad also I'm not like that. <laughs> You're just a wolf in sheep's clothing, my friend. Well, I might be. Yeah. But I try not to ever big, wear a sheep's outfit. Yeah. I try to let them know I got sharp teeth and I'll bite. So I'll bark no bite? No, no. I, I got <laughs> bark and bite, but I let I try to let people know up front that that's the way I am. Yeah. But Yeah, well I never try to I play it need- off like I'm a saint. Or yeah. like I'm some like I don't have sharp teeth because well, I got some. Well, I guess that's what we need, man. We need more leaders, less flowers and shit. You know? What we need is <sighs> one of the people. One of the things I saw. Oh, was, we're gonna have leaders, was, with, uh, like the right leader at least. Well, one of the things they they say is they want you to stay willfully ignorant, willfully blind. Yeah. So like learning and and making money is not what they want. Yeah. So it's like, well, man, it sucks too because once you're locked in their system, you're fucked. Like I try to tell my nephew, learn like two plus two B6, equals five. Exactly. Yeah. Like once they have you believing two plus two is five. Yeah. You're pretty much over with. Yeah, man. Like right now, I still know two plus two is four. Yeah. You know, but some people are are you know starting to claim two plus two is five, and that's scary. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, well, let's wrap it up, man. Uh, man. There's a whole bunch of shit we can get into, man. But like 1984, great book, great movie, great author. Um, 
and we're it's living real, in, and it's real life. And, yeah, we're living <laughs> in Aurelian times, bro. Like for reals. Um, I guess from 1984, 2024 is around the corner, bro. Um, you have any predictions? What do you think? Or what, what's your thoughts for it, man? I don't pay attention. You're just, <laughs> yeah, you're the wrong person to ask, man. Nah, well, it's because it's all, it, it's like, it's like, have you ever started, a, okay, let's say somehow I took you to the movies and you're like, what movie were we going to see? And I'm like, so-and-so movie. And you're like, let me see the trailer, see if it's any good. And I'm like, nah, let's just go. It's a surprise. And then, and then when, right? When we're starting to watch it, I'm like, so what do you predict is going to happen in the middle and the end? And suppose you can't really say because it's already written. Yeah. So it's like, I already know the future's written as far as politics. Like, they already have the ace up their sleeve to yeah. Unfortunately. win the pot. So there's no, you can't win. What is it? Big, big. And win the one bet and get out because you'll never beat the house. Yeah. So it's like bet big that one time that you know you're going to win and get the fuck out because go, you can't beat the house. Go big, go home. Yeah. Stay smart. Stay smart. Fuck. Stay free. Fuck all that. Uh, Social media shit for real. I hate it. Yeah, fuck all that. Um, I don't hate most things, but I... I don't hate I don't, it, it but, Well, yeah, because yeah. I don't... Well, you know, one thing that I always noticed since cell phones for a long time was how people stay like zombie-like staring at their phone. Yeah. And I never liked that. I used to be like, what's wrong with people? Like, what's wrong with... I, I used to ask myself, what's wrong with normal day life? Like, why does everybody feel so bored? Because uh, like, you shouldn't be bored. There's well, so no, much, but like yeah. even when I go to the laundromat to wash my clothes, I could actually sit there and just think to myself and watch my clothes spinning... And just like enjoy the day, like oh, it's nice weather. Like just thinking, listening to, looking at the phone. people around me, whatever. Yeah. Like no, not even listening to music, <laughs> yeah. not even using my phone. Yeah, I'm just. Joking. And then I'm looking at everybody in the laundry mat, and I'm talking about everybody. You're watching them, no Big brother. Everybody's on their <laughs> phones though. Oh yeah, you see that everywhere, bro. The detach. Like as soon as they're not folding a piece of clothes, they have their phone in front of their face. Yeah. And then they'll put it down and fold like another piece of clothes or they'll put their clothes in the washing machine. And as soon as they set it on go, they sit down and then they're in front of their phone. So we're watching Big Brother watching us. Well, like even right now, I notice on the way home when I when you stop DJing. Yeah. Like I just put music real low so we could talk. We, we didn't even talk. You pulled out your phone and started watching short videos. You didn't even notice that. Oh, okay. And I turned off my car radio, and you didn't even notice. You stayed stuck watching your phone until we got to your house. Yeah, man. And I didn't say nothing. No, I was getting ready but, for this podcast. I was but <laughs> I noticed, <laughs> I was and research. I was like, damn, homeboys, like, fucking They hooked. got me. They got they you. They got me, man. Shit. Straight up. I'm, they're going to put me in that room, bro. I think we're in that room right now. Shit. Fuck. Um, yeah, and, that's, and that's how... The way to you guys at home, the way to notice if they got you is if you have two seconds of free time and you catch yourself picking up your phone instead of just sitting there quietly for two seconds. That's how you know they got you. They got you. Damn. All right, man. That's a good one. Um, shit, man. Uh, Do more stuff outside away from the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say some more clever shit like that. Or <laughs> say another quote of Plato or fucking Orwell. Let's end this bitch. If you do not take an interest in the affairs of your government, then you are doomed to live under the rule of fools. That was a Plato quote, too. I think you said that one, though. No, I said a different one. No, the first one was um, from... Um. Oh yeah, Plato. But it's as long as we remain ignorant of the fact that all too often those who claim to protect us from fear are actually manipulating our fears. That's exactly what 1984 is about. What Plato says right here. Yeah. Because what do they do when you don't listen? They put you in the room so your worst fears come true in one on one. Yeah. So it says right here. Most often the people, and it's funny because. 
when they send that guy Winston to room 101, yeah. They had a secret agent following him for a long time. Yeah. Like the antique store owner. He was a fucking rat the whole time. One of the bro. yeah, one of the perfect jobs was the person claiming to be like free-minded. Yeah. So you got to be careful of who's claiming what around you because they're most likely going to be the ones to turn on you. They live, bro. They live. For that's, real. Yeah, for real. And that's why I'm, that's why I wear these sunglasses everywhere I go because I could see the real person underneath. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. Um, That was a good podcast, man. I enjoyed that one. I'm trying to see... Uh, Dude, it's because we could go forever. Yeah, but we didn't even out. talk about the banking system. Oh shit! The banking system, how it's all of a scam. The interest rates. Keep going, man. Fucking get the shout outs, man. Get, get, what else? What else? Um. Well, no, just like the banking system, how like refinancing a car. Yeah. Once you've already bought a car, let's say your payments are five hundred. Yeah. Like after a year or two of you making payments, they're like. Oh, why don't you refinance? You'll make a lower payment, but they you don't pay attention. That's how they get more money in the long run. Yeah. They just keep bleeding you, bleeding you, bleeding you. And it's like like when are people going to wake up to all these scams? But it's crazy because I remember one time talking to my sister about they're too claiming too busy claiming to be woke. And well, not yeah. waking up. It's, it's weird because to be awake. I remember talking about this shit to my sister how the bank the whole bank reserves, fractional reserve system, whatever, the banking whole system yeah. is all just a big ripoff. The whole mafia takes all the fucking stri- strategies they have is from the fucking banking system. Did you know that? Yeah. The mafia. Yeah. They use the banking, the, what is it, the VIG? Yeah, yeah. The VIG. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, because it's, it's genius. Fucking banking systems, mafia, bro. They're straight mafia that the mafia stole the tricks from the bank. Like loan sharking, it's lending money out and charging fucking huge amounts of interest when you know they can't pay it. That's what exactly the bank's counting on is for you not to pay it. That way they could repossess the shit and resell it. Did you know that? Yeah. The bank is counting on you not to pay it. They're hoping and praying you don't pay it. They're praying and praying on your downfall, Exactly, bro. bro. They want to bury you. It's crazy. And nobody sees it. Nobody's paying attention. See and, what else? And There's a lot, man. Like the whole corruption, like we said about words, right? Like yeah. How everything. Double yeah. talk. Double okay. talk. Double speak or whatever. All that. Like those words shouldn't even exist. Double speak. Like what does that even double mean? Plus double plus speak. Good. <laughs> double. Like I have two voices <laughs> that speak at once. Check this out. <laughs> like what is double speak? Like no, it's just lies. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Then you. That's not double speak. You're just being a fucking. They're trying liar. to take out all negative words, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's horrible, dude. And it's like the whole shit about like, like Aunt Jemima or Uncle Ben and things like that, bro. Like you, like why, like that's history. That's I don't know. I don't know too much about the brand or who made it and stuff. But if a woman uh, of color did do that, like or and a gentleman, well, of isn't color, Disney? Why not or have somebody them on the real famous or that where that. People from the past aren't who, how they look in the in the movie. Yeah, isn't Disney one of them that's doing that, or who makes the superhero movies? Uh, Kevin Foggy. Wasn't Kanye West saying something like that? I don't know. That Black Panther's not even how the Black Panther was. That it's like a a white version now. Oh shit! Isn't that in 1984 too? I like, think is it one of the tactics, like... To switch, like, I think that's what they're doing, y- switching um, races yeah. and stuff like that, which, uh, well, I don't know, man. Like, I don't really care too much. That's, like, the least it's cause of it, anything I care it's about. It's because that's what people don't expect. Yeah. They don't expect government spies. Like, right now, I could be a government spy spying on you. Oh, You're shit. not even expecting this well, shit, man, if son. I'm turning this shit off right now, then. <laughs> you might as well <laughs> just, like, fucking give up. Damn, son. Well, that's it. Game over. But then. don't ever give up. Yeah. Fuck. Peace.
Lockdown. 